PSA before your diagnosis is, is a challenge. You know, trying to decide if an elevated PSA truly represents cancer is, is, a, is, is a challenge, is an enigma. It's a, it's a poor test. But after treatment, PSA is a, a phenomenal test, okay? After you've been treated, that PSA should be zero, okay? If it's not zero, there's concern for residual disease. What you're describing is that different labs when we see this all the time, have different assays or different machines for how they measure PSA. So you could literally walk from lab to lab or assay to assay and get three different values, okay? Some of it's the degree of how low they go. Some of it is they all go low, but they just read it differently so you can get different variations. What you're describing is now that these machines have become so sensitive is we get this noise at these low levels, okay, where we'll see PSAs, you know, at one lab it'll be less than 0 0.04, okay, and then we'll check it again and it'll be 0 0.05 or 0 0.06, and that's just this, this up and down that we see and then eventually it, 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 it will go back, okay. What we don't want to see is this successive rises. You go from zero point to undetectable to 0 0.06 to 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, that is a, is, is a true sign of cancer return. But we do see patients that have, and it's, it's, it's not what we like, it's not ideal. In a perfect world, we like to see undetectable zero. You know, that's what we shoot for and that's what we see the majority of the time. But we do have patients that have a persistence of PSA. At these low levels, it's a challenge on how to treat these patients. Does it really mean that there's cancer there? Or is it that there is just this, is it a fault of the machine? Is it there is, is some small cells of prostate in the urethra or somewhere else, not cancer, that are causing this PSA elevation? Unfortunately, time will tell whether this will manifest into treatment, but that's why we follow guys afterwards. If that PSA continues to climb, then at some point we would consider radiation, okay? If the PSA, that would, we would say it's, it's probably a recurrence, cancer has come back, and the question I get is, you took out, doc, you took out my prostate, where did the cancer come back to? And it's, it's a difficult question to answer because I can't, in these low levels, I can't do an x-ray and say your cancer is right here. Your cancer is, is you know, the x-ray won't show where the cancer is at these very low levels. Um, we've tried and tried and we can't, we, you know, there's some newer technologies that are coming, but they're not prime time. So, but we know that there's a, a recurrence because we call it a biochemical recurrence. It's a chemical recurrence. And if it continues to rise or gets to a, a point, we would treat it. And we would treat it early enough where typically those patients, we can salvage them with radiation. Okay, and we'd call that salvage radiation therapy. You know, unfortunately, you know, depending on your, 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 your Gleason or, or your initial PSA, it does occur, or your pathology, we do see recurrences. Um, but thankfully, the radiation, you know, is, is typically effective, especially when we catch them at these early, early, early time points. Um, because there's low volume of disease.